Okay, Dan, uh, welcome today, and uh, obviously it's uh, Christmas Day here, ho, 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 and I think we got something to say about that, so I'll let you go ahead. Well, I think it's appropriate the ho, 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 um, because it's ultimately whoredom, 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 you know, when Adam and Eve sinned and gave their allegiance uh, to someone masking truth with fiction, um, in the book of Genesis, it said, who told you you were naked? Um, immediately they were covering up the naked truth and away we go in this uh, crazy world of sin and what has happened through uh, the basically the actions of one man who was once perfect and uh, given the opportunity to actually do what is right and he did what was wrong and uh, we're in the moment of what we're talking about right now so uh, thousands of years since uh, his, uh, you know, coming into existence by the grace of God, um, having, you know, love to bring about creation and share uh, an existence of life that could only come from the source. But uh, there is the first man already uh, literally, uh, you know, defecating on God's gift by doing what he did. So anyways, yeah, that's it's appropriate, the Ho, 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 the biggest whoredom holiday of the year um, of the pagan holidays. And uh, there's many Christians, uh, I'll call them pseudo-legal Christians, that, uh, you know, support this holiday. Um, many that uh, even that don't support it are afraid to speak up. So they, uh, they, they just kind of ignore people during that time or try not to get into any conversations. Many times they will even uh, wish back a Merry Christmas to people who... Uh, give them that, but how blasphemous it is that a holiday, uh, a pagan holy day that has nothing to do with Jesus Christ has to do um, with mocking him, if anything, uh, through Satan, creating a unholy day uh, that uh, places his this supposed birth event of Christ coming into the world uh, under a pagan holiday of December 25th, which only reflects uh, the sun god worship, uh, worshiping the pagan gods like Baal and uh, gods of that sort. Um, the, uh, the the fact that uh, Nimrod um, has also been calculated to be having birthed uh, himself as a celebration on that day also. Uh, many of the things, so we can probably just go into that. I mean, it's just, uh, you know... <laughs> You know, I've got some pretty bad hate mail. And, you know, you know, at this point, I don't mind being hated uh, for saying the right thing. But it's very sad um, that uh, there are people that can't stand up to what is true. So, you know, they stand up on all these other nonsense things like they think they can change the COVID and what's going on out there. They make that their focus. It's like the new 9-11. But they don't stand up in truth regarding even a name and they can't stand up in truth uh, regarding even uh, what we call this false holy day, that even people who have no belief in any concept of Jesus Christ will celebrate in order to make their commercial gain. So you go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, and this is probably a very good beginning, uh, you know, to look at the this pagan holy day for what it is and its origin. And Jeremiah 10 says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it out with silver and with gold, and they fasten it with nails and with hammers that move, that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. Just giving you the, there's nothing new under the sun. So this uh, this pagan holiday... Um, has had its origins uh, way back. So Jeremiah 10, you know, lays it out. You'll notice 
you know, the journey that the nation of Israel went through. And eventually they entered into paganism, uh, were thrown out of the covenant of God. In fact, the whole Judaism, um, which they base it on the Talmud, um, more so than the Torah, is just what they call the civil history of the Jewish nation. But it is actually, in essence, civil is pagan. So it's their Babylonian Talmud, their Babylonian uh, history um, being removed from the covenant of God. They run a following that even preaches that they're still out there uh, as if they're the voice of God when they're actually outside the sanctuary of God and thrown to the enemy. So they operate within the Gentile, heathen, pagan realm. And, and they've masked, uh, you know, a, a great mockery and blasphemy against Christ on this holiday. Jesus being betrayed for money in itself, and then the fact that people are basically using commerce to celebrate something to do with Jesus Christ. So it is a huge amount of boredom uh, that one must do in order even to generate the money that's required to buy the gifts in this boredom arrangement, uh, you know, of what we call secularism. So this is nothing spiritual, has nothing to do with anything other than blasphemy to God. But unfortunately, um, the, the world is so well deceived by the evil one, Satan, that he's masked up uh, such a beguilement of a fiction of even the birth of Christ that he has um, created a holiday that actually is on a date that actually has nothing to do with his birth, but those that were based on those that were in opposition to him, such as uh, Nimrod and those that were uh, based on Babylonian false god worship. So anyways, we'll leave it at that. I think that's enough for, uh, you know, Baal worship for one day. But yes, who are, who are, who are, ho, 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 um, away you go, um, you know, to celebrate, unfortunately, something contrary to Christ. But Claim that you have a blessing of God, well, you're actually harming yourself. God's blessing is not with you on this holiday if you're celebrating it. Yeah. All right, Dan. Thank you for the insight on that.